has this happened to you you open up the Steam Deck app and when you open up the Steam Deck app you want to download the latest plugin but you click on the plugin store icon and this happens you're met with a blank white store screen and it's unresponsive and not only that it crashes the app itself well I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot that in a scenario on why you may be facing this and the simple fix for it stay tuned your stream deck app and you want to download the latest plugin or you know try it out on your steam deck just like I am doing here but when it opens up and you hit the window not the window store but the plugin icon this happens you get met with a blank white screen that when you go to click on it, it says not responding and you get the little windows loading icon that pops up and what's even worse is that it even makes the Stream Deck app itself unresponsive. So the only way you can close this out once it crashes, you just keep on clicking it until you eventually get that close the program and you close it out. Now I want you to notice one thing that was kind of different about me. As you can see, I have let me show it to you guys. I have multiple uh, monitors and just to prove it to you I'm gonna hit you with the assist that's my so this is my first monitor and this is my third monitor right now I'm using my second one to record but I have three monitors in total and for some reason I'll kind of show it to you um, when I open up the stream deck app okay there it goes so we have our stream deck and it is responsive. I can change things, I can move things, but when I click on the Stream Deck Store app, and this little square right here, this is on my third screen. And of course, like I said, when I click on it, it basically crashes out everything. So that is basically the problem when you have multiple screens on with using while using the stream deck they have to be on the same screen it's I said screen the screen is as it seems so let me show you what I have to do so we're going to do a little trick to get them because one thing I noticed also is when you open the stream deck app it doesn't matter what you do. Let's open it one more time. Oh God, I don't know why I'm having problems clicking. But, like I said, when you open it, even as I can move it, I can move it all the way over here, as you can see, it's still not responding. So natively, when this thing opens up, it has to be on the scr same screen. Now, as I close it up, and I know it's getting kind of redundant, so just hold on with me, you guys. Because I need to show this to you. No matter what you do, even when it closes, it's going to open up in the same position. So I'm going to show you guys a trick that I use, and hopefully it doesn't mess up everything. Um, notice you may see my OBS open, but I'm going to try to hide it so it doesn't give you that, that, uh, what's they call that movie, uh, Inception feel. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to display settings and basically what I'm going to do is, as you guys can see right here, this these number this is my display so I have one I know it's ordered weird but I have three screens so because my Steam Deck app Stream Deck app I keep saying oh my god I think that was like the worst names to have this stuff but my Stream Deck is on screen number two which is really number one I hope that's not confusing you guys okay so I'm going to move 
everything over to number one but I'm gonna click on number three because whatever you have clicked on the settings it will affect so in order to get that to move on to the same screen and uh, get it functioning we're gonna basically disable two of my monitors in order to push this over like manually well not manually I guess automatically so I don't know you know what I mean <laughs> so we're gonna disconnect display number three it did a weird thing I don't know if you guys can see it I'll see it in the editing we're gonna keep the changes so now to show you my third screen is disconnected I have like a little small square it still detects my screen but it's not active we're going to do the same thing for number one. So we have it clicked. We're going to disconnect the display. Right? We're going to keep the changes. Now that's disconnected. So now, like I said, I moved everything to my main screen. Right? So now I got to go and find this mess because it's basically condensed all my icons into one screen. So let's see. My Steam Deck is down here click it it's popped up and let's see as you can see now because it's on the same screen it's opened up fine I don't know why it does that I don't know it's what kind of you know what kind of errors or whatever it is in the background that causes this to happen I'm guessing it's something from this the uh, developers might have missed but um, that's pretty much a problem make sure that the store plugin opens up on the same screen that you have the Steam Deck open now here's another trick so I'm gonna keep this over here but I have to enable my monitor so we're just gonna reverse everything we just did but we're gonna make sure that this is on this screen Okay, so we're going to right click, go back to display settings, and I'm going to click on one, and we're going to extend this display, not duplicate, to extend, and that should cut my monitor on, keep changes. I'm going to go back to three, do the same thing, extend to this display, and all my icons and everything how I've had it should go back to the way it was. okay so now what we want to do we want to make sure that this stay cl closes on this screen so what I tend to do is and it's kind of worked I had to kind of play around with it I tend to close the Steam Deck app first okay so that app actually remembers and then I close the store last okay so now we can move this back to our middle screen and now we are going to open up and see if it worked let's see da, 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 da. okay now for some odd reason it it's kind of like on the edge but I guess it's just enough for it to work but basically just to be safe keep it on the same screen and you know you won't have this issue so I hope that helped you um, I like I said I had to look all over for the internet for it it wasn't just like readily available in forums um, I just happened to stumble on it and it fixed it fixed that issue but I noticed that there wasn't a video on it so I wanted to make that so this isn't my fix but I just wanted to give you guys a visual um, guide on how to fix it yourself I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that use a stream deck with multiple monitors and are probably having this and this fix isn't out there so like I said I hope it helped man if this video helped you out um, you know give it a subscribe give it a like man I appreciate it and you know old school out man have a good day y'all